Why is Bitcoin going up? We're going to be talking about that today. So if you love cryptocurrency, you love Bitcoin, you love earning passive income with cryptocurrency, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification icon and give this video a like. So right now we're going to be talking about why Bitcoin is going up. I think some of the most some of the best fundamentals are taking place right now for long-term cryptocurrency Bitcoin mass adoption. And this is really predominantly Bitcoin. So if you don't know what happened today, already at one point, depending on what data feed you look at, Bitcoin actually crossed over the all-time high and then pulled back a little bit. All-time high in 2018 was uh, 19,700 some change. It actually crossed over 19,800 again, according to what exchange you're looking at or which data feed you're looking at so the question is why is bitcoin going up so fast first of all let's face facts this this cryptocurrency price is absolutely absolutely volatile if you're not aware of that then you're just simply not following the price i say that i believe in the future of cryptocurrency but i also believe even if we're in a positive uptrend that at any point in time we could potentially see this price slide down as much as 50 percent because it's just so volatile right now but the, what you want to know in this video is why is the price going up what's taking place in the market what's taking place around the world what are the fundamental factors causing the price to go up so fast so quickly specifically since it recovered from about a 15 to 16 thousand dollar price point just a few days ago so let's take a look at this there's several news stories one two three four five news stories that we're going to cover each one of these i believe is a stronger fundamental of what's taking place all these news stories are relevant within the past 24 to 48 hours so you will see exactly why the price is going up the way that it is right now investment giant alliance bernstein now says bitcoin has role in investors portfolio this is incredible the research arm of the new york based alliance bernstein a global investment manager with 631 billion in assets under management has had a change of heart when it comes to bitcoin as an investment asset in a research note produced for clients seen by coindesk indigo fraser jenkins co-head of the portfolio strategy team at Bernstein Research said the firm has pre had previously ruled out Bitcoin as an investment asset back in January of 2018. Soon after Bitcoin had hit its all-time high close to $20,000, but post-pandemic changes to the policy environment, debt levels and diversification options for investors mean the asset ma manager now had to admit Bitcoin does have a role in asset allocation, at least over the long term. Okay, so here's a couple things I want to point out right now if you follow my channel you know that i'm simply a cryptocurrency enthusiast i'm a, a i'm a hobbyist when it comes to econo economies and economics i love studying economics i talk about it on this channel i believe it's the fundamentals of economics around the world that's going to drive the mass adoption of cryptocurrency particularly bitcoin as a currency now it's very interesting i've been talking about the debt levels forever now they're saying oh because of the debt levels because of post pandemic if you watched my videos back in 2018 when i was talking about bitcoin one day going to a million dollars per bitcoin by the way, stay tuned. There's actually a news story where a major influencer in this space, a major entrepreneur in this space, says that they can see Bitcoin going to half a million dollars. We're going to get to that news story in a moment, so stay tuned for that. However, back when I did that video, Bitcoin going to a million dollars, back then, a lot of people like these guys were saying, oh, no, that's not possible. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. Oh, no, Bitcoin's too risky. Oh, no, there's no reason to invest in Bitcoin. Now, all of a sudden, they've had a change of heart. Now, all of a sudden, they recognize, wow, if inflation's a problem. Wow, the economy's a problem. Do I believe that, they, that, that these people are so stupid that they just figured it out? No, I don't. I think that most people are simply hesitant to new technologies, and now, all of a sudden, they're waking up. They can't avoid it. It's one of the best performing assets, literally, in the past several years, and most most investment fund managers have totally missed the boat on it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I say cryptocurrencies for the masses, cryptocurrencies for you and me. This is our opportunity. This is our currency. This is our financial instruments. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're here before everyone else, if you've been here for the past several years, congratulations. If you're just getting here, you're not too late. Because let me tell you something right now, the greatest gains are yet to be had in my personal opinion, not financial advice. But I will tell you that the, the big money people, the legacy finance, the old school way of doing things, they are going to be slow to adopt this currency and there's so much upward mo movement possible. Congratulations for being here. Congratulations for being here early. And now we see that Alliance Bernstein is finally recognizing, hey, maybe we missed the boat on this. Maybe we misunderstood it. Let's justify why it's okay now and it wasn't okay two years ago. Well, here's what's really happening. Can I tell you this? What really happening is back in January of 2018, they said, hey, Bitcoin's a bad idea. Let's not touch it. 
Then they realize after it goes to $20,000, almost $20,000 and pulls back, when they see that happening again, they're like, hey, we don't want to miss the boat twice. This is going to be a double top. This thing's going to go even higher. Let's keep going. Winklevoss twins say Bitcoin would be will be the decade's best performing asset. By the way, if you don't know this fun fact about the Winklevoss twins, if you've ever seen the movie Facebook, they were the guys who tried to sue Mark Zuckerberg, claiming that he actually stole their original idea when in fact maybe he tried to steal Mark Zuckerberg's idea. Who knows exactly? Sure. But they currently are the owners or the founders of the Gemini Exchange. They say that Bitcoin could see a 25x gain from here, from right here where it's at, which according to them, we're still very, very early on this asset. Imagine owning an asset that could go up 25x and imagine being able to know that it's going to probably go up 25x before the rest of the world does because I, I, in my personal opinion, that's where we're at right this very moment. Let's keep going. Early Bitcoin investors and founders of crypto exchange Gemini, Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss see Bitcoin gaining more than 25 times its current value as more investors adopt the cryptocurrency as an inflation hedge. We think it will be the best performing asset of the current decade, Tyler Winklevoss said in an interview with Seema Moody on CNBC's Squawk Box Monday. Our thesis is that Bitcoin is gold 2.0 and it will disrupt gold. If it does that, it, ha it has to have a market cap of $9 trillion. So we think Bitcoin could price one day at $500,000 a Bitcoin. So at $18,000 Bitcoin, it's a hold. And if you don't have any it's a buy opportunity because we think there's a 25x from here tyler expanded hey let me know down in the comments do you think that bitcoin could go up to 25x do you think that it's the next gold because in my video that i did a couple years ago where i talked about bitcoin going to one million dollars i said that in order for it to replace a gold market then it would hit half a half a million dollars per bitcoin i said that back then in order for it to ultimately replace money throughout the world then therefore it would have to go to $1 million per Bitcoin and beyond. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm going to tell you something. There, It's one thing to own, an as, to own an asset that may go up to 25X. But what if you were earning a passive income in an asset that could also go up to 25X? Meaning today you're earning $100 a day. But if that $100 a day goes up to 25X, what if all of a sudden that passive income stream was worth $25? hundred dollars a day see stuff like that is possible in crypto that's not possible in legacy finance the old school of doing the way of doing things all right let's take a look we got two more stories to get to before we got we got three more but the last one is a banger bitcoin's new record this time will be less talk of with less talk of a bubble okay this is just showing that double talk they're showing that one of the feeds had bitcoin hitting nineteen thousand eight hundred and fifty. the previous high was nineteen thousand seven eighty three it's fair to note that not all exchanges were showing that price, so at least one exchange had the price above the all-time high, which is very, very, very interesting. When just, you know, where are we at? Uh, I'm not going to be able to see it. Just a couple of days ago, we were at 16000 So where does it go from here? Could it go back down? I definitely think it's possible. I mean, I mentioned that previously in another video, Bitcoin price, Bitcoin price crash. I'll link that above. I'll put it down in the description. But it is possible that we could see a price crash, and there's one specific reason why. If you want to understand what that reason is, make certain that you go down in the description and watch the video, Bitcoin price crash. Record gold outflow isn't going into ripples, only Bitcoin, says fund manager. So this is incredible. So the Winklevoss twin says that this could disrupt gold, and this is confirmation that in fact, it's exactly happening. By the way, this video, this news story is only seven hours old. So ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about late breaking current news that is proven the fundamentals of Bitcoin. Gold outflows are rising as Bitcoin rallies due to heightened buyer demand from institutional investors. The ongoing Bitcoin rally has primarily been driven by institutions, analysts say, with metrics such as CME's open interest and Grayscale's asset under management supporting this narrative. At the same time, the gold market has seen large outflows in recent weeks. On November 24th, independent financial researcher Jan, Jan or Jan reported the gold saw its largest weekly outflow in history. Check this out. This is gold outflows. Look how slow this is. This is incredible. This is inflows, gold coming in, or money coming into gold, money coming out of gold. The timing of the heightened level of outflows from the gold market is noteworthy because it comes after the entrance of major institutional investors into the Bitcoin market. Now, here's the thing. This is extraordinary right here. Keep in mind, at the same time, the gold market has seen large outflows in recent weeks. The largest gold, wait, sorry. The independent financial researcher, Jan, reported that gold saw its largest weekly outflow in history okay so 
We have fundamentals right now with crazy crisis going on in the world today. The health challenges are creating an environment where governments are printing money, borrowing money, spending money. And all the fundamentals are there for potentially extraordinary, if not catastrophic, inflation for fiat currencies, for U.S. dollars, the British pound, etc. At a time when you would think the gold inflows should be really high, this is showing a strong correlation and the reason that people hold Bitcoin being the same reason they choose to hold gold. And what you're seeing right here is people are basically saying, hey, we need inflation hedge. Let's pull out of gold. Let's put some of that into Bitcoin. Ladies and gentlemen, that is extraordinary that that is actually happening. The world is realizing, institutional money anyway, is realizing that Bitcoin is in fact digital gold. By the way, I said earlier, if you want to learn how to earn passive income with cryptocurrency or passive income in Bitcoin, then make certain that you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, click all because you don't want to miss any video that I put out there. But And I put out one to two videos a day talking about cryptocurrency. However, you can also go down in the description and subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter where we're talking about learning how to earn, I have an entire course about learning how to earn passive income with cryptocurrency. Right now, it's only $9.99 a month. It's going to be going up to $29 per month. So go ahead and check it out down in the description. All right, here's the best news so far. This is this is a bombshell. Again, this is recent news. We're talking about news as of today. Guggenheim says it could invest up to $530 million in a Bitcoin trust as the cryptocurrency leaps to record highs. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. We may see even much higher Bitcoin prices with this news. You thought PayPal did something. You thought Square did something. This could be extraordinary. Guggenheimer Partners revealed in a Friday regulatory filing that its Macro Opportunities Fund holds the right to invest up to 10% of its net asset value in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. The trust solely invests in Bitcoin. And a 10% bet from Guggenheimer's funds equates to roughly 530 million U.S. dollars. The cryptocurrency leaped to an all-time high on Monday. The token hit an intraday high of $19,873 on Monday, eclipsing the December 2017 record of $19,511 before pairing gains. Guggenheim Partners is the latest Wall Street firm to show interest in Bitcoin, and a Friday regulatory filing signals a firm. For, uh, Signals the firm could make a massive investment in the soaring cryptocurrency. Guggenheim revealed its Macro Opportunities Fund holds the right to invest up to 10% of its net asset value in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, according to a Securities and Exchange Commission filing published Friday. The trust solely invests in Bitcoin, allowing its shares to serve as a proxy for the popular cryptocurrency. The fund manages roughly $5.3 billion in assets, making a 10% investment worth about $530 million. Guggenheim described cryptocurrencies as digital assets designed as a medium of exchange. The firm added that though it can gain exposure to Bitcoin through the Grayscale Trust, it has no other plans to invest directly or indirectly in cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin charged to its record highs on Monday, surpassing the previous record of 19,511 set in December 2017. The token jumped as high as 19,873 before pairing some gains. Guggenheim joins other Wall Street heavyweights who profess their bullishness towards the volatile token. Former hedge fund manager Mike Novogratz has long pushed for widespread use of cryptocurrency and praised PayPal's October decision to adopt them as an exciting day for the technology. All banks will now be on a race to service crypto, he tweeted on October 21st. We have crossed Rubicon, people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is incredibly bullish for Bitcoin. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to know what, what is causing Bitcoin to go up, it's institutional money. It's these large funds coming in, the big money boys coming in in a way they never have before, recognizing the power of cryptocurrency. Now, I think this is personally, I think this is absolutely extraordinary. No question about it. No doubt about it. Now, if you want to find out how you can invest in the total market cap with one investment vehicle, meaning the total coin market cap, not just not just being able to invest in Bitcoin, being able to invest in the entire market set of 2,000 cryptocurrencies. Imagine an S&P 500 index fund. If there was a vehicle that could show you how to invest in cryptocurrency or in the entire cryptocurrency market at once, not just Bitcoin, and be able to hold it, 
being able to make that investment in such a way that you're essentially holding an index fund of the entire cryptocurrency market. There's a revolutionary new vehicle coming out. This project's going to be literally releasing today. So hit the subscribe button on my channel, hit the bell notification icon because the next video I'm going to put out in a couple of hours, I'm going to be telling you about this unique investment vehicle, this technology. Now I'm not telling you to invest in it, but you want to be aware of it. You don't want to miss this. This is one of the neatest projects that I've seen in some time. And quite honestly, outside of holding Bitcoin, this is probably the only other cryptocurrency that I would hold or the only other project that I would hold long term. Well, of course, I hold some Ethereum and I hold some other small bags here and there. But this next project would be a big holding for me. Potentially, we'll have to see how it how it materializes. But I'm excited about it. And truthfully, full transparency, I'm an early investor in this project that's going to be coming up. You don't want to miss this. It's coming up tonight. Don't miss my next video. I'm going to be talking about that very, very soon. Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to say this right here, right now. If you love the idea of earning passive income with cryptocurrency, of course, you can subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits course down in the description. But also, at the end of this video, I'm going to post a playlist where I'm using at least one strategy from our course right now. And I'm focusing on building a passive income of, of at least $100 worth of cryptocurrency every single day. I'm titling that playlist, how to make $100 a day online or how to earn $100 a day online in cryptocurrency. So I'll put that playlist on the end of the video and make certain that you watch that. Ladies and gentlemen, these are exciting times. Aren't you proud to be here first? Are you proud to be here early? Aren't you glad that you get to say that you understand the fundamentals and you understood why the world needed cryptocurrency before everyone else? This is exciting. This gets me jacked up. Thank you for being here. Remember, decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.